word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We're just a group of friends from around the world and we discuss interesting articles and share our thoughts and opinions. Oh, on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I My name I mean. is Alexander, a.k.a. AJ, a.k.a. Alex, whatever you want to call me. I'm here with Maxi. Hello. Emma. Hello. Deb. Hello. <laughs> and CJ. Hello. <laughs> On that one. I fell. I fell. I fell. Was he from Liverpool? I fell. I fell. Uh, Did I sound like I was from Liverpool? Yeah, I thought I so. I was one of the Beatles. I'm terrible Thank accent, you for so your I have no amazing idea. Amazing like you're mixing Stephen Gerrard in there. Little Britain Liverpool. introduction there. Yeah, we, just, we just want to put the ball in the back of the net. <laughs> oh, no. Small goals, you know what I mean? I mean, it's just simple, right? It's just a <laughs> kick in the back of the net. <laughs> Can someone do St- a, a, Steven a, 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 a Steven Gerrard? Steven Gerrard. Steven Gerrard. <laughs> all right, Ems. All right, all right. First Back article. Back at it. Whole crew. First article. Guys, mm-hmm. I mean, we, we talk about this, you know, McDonald's, plastic straws, blah, 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 blah. Wait, wait. Would you consider us, this podcast, a a, a shining light for environmental change? No. <laughs> No. Would, you <laughs> say, would you say we're an advocate for yeah. I think we have to ditch CJ first No, <laughs> I feel like we're an advocate But whether uh, we're I influential say, the, the reason why You got me on your team That's the balance <laughs> Well you're the balance You're Thanos huh? <laughs> You're all still here <laughs> Okay I don't tell get us, the tell reference us. Oh. Tell us. Okay guys Pasta straws Oh, I heard about this on the radio. Pasta straws. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did they make the, the Italians thought let's make instead of straws use pasta? Yeah. Pasta straws are you know what? booming. Huh. Do you know what's good? After I'm, you I'm drink them, it. you put it. them in boiling water, you get a meal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a short meal. <laughs> Has everybody heard of the pasta straw? Yes. Start with a cup of tea, finish with a <laughs> tea pasta dish. <laughs> Cup of soup. What? <laughs> what? Who drinks tea, tea, tea for a straw? straw? <laughs> <laughs> no one drinks tea for a straw, but I'm trying to... No one drinks anything through pasta either. <laughs> <laughs> they do now, and yeah. I'm sure you will within the next year have done it. So... I like the name of them, though, so I might just... Just because of the name, I might buy strudels. one. Strudels. Is that what they're called? Like strudels? That. Strudels. No. One company <laughs> is called... One company called Strudels, UK company, uh, uh, like, uh, do pasta straws um and they're a big one for hey, Ernest, a lot of people to buy I've got from a business idea mm. we'll call it drink through noodles <laughs> drink through noodles i feel like it's a really good solution yeah, so basically yeah. pasta straws beginning to boom um italy across a lot of their bars they're starting to use pasta straws um it is a type of pasta called bucatini um, and basically, it's in the shape of a straw. Sounds like a wrestler. It's flavorless. It is a cool name. I'll have a Isn't he the winger for the Italian with uh, my martini. <laughs> Bucatini <laughs> down the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot day, sun the bend. <laughs> <laughs> it's flavorless. It can last up to an hour in cold fluids, not hot fluids. Um, <laughs> also, it's cool because you can just snap it and break it to whatever size you want. Um, it's it can not, be yeah. composted. I hate those long straws. I'm like, ah, it's too long. Yeah, for the short cup. <laughs> <laughs> Once Do you mean you sit down and you have to like put your chin in there <laughs> to get to the top of the straw? Yeah. Your chin oh, God damn it. I wish I could snap this straw. <laughs> um, once you're finished with it, you can, it can go in compost or it, even if it does go to landfill, it's not going to take that long to sort of break down. Um, yeah, so this could basically be, it's an almost perfect solution they're saying. Almost perfect. Well, I've wins. just read. I've just read part of the article because, mm-hmm. of course, there's always Debbie Downer. Yeah. Of course, um, someone's talking and they said uh, it would add. It, she said of adding pasta straws to the forty percent of total food supply Americans throw away each year, which contributes to about eight percent of global greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Food and Agriculture Organization United Nations report. Um, that just reminded me of you know the good place where they're like there's no way to be perfect. Yeah, there's no good deed that goes unpunished. But I, oh. 
right now. Yeah, like, but I was thinking about this because I was in the shop the other day and I saw like a pack of pla- uh, paper straws and I was like, obviously this is supposed to be the solution to plastic because plastic's detrimental, all that kind of stuff. But how much, if we replace all plastic straws with paper straws, how many more trees is that going to be? I that like, too. Surely that's just as bad. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about that too. But I know you do like tree farms for that. Or recycled. Well, I mean, at the rate of deforestation, like, that would increase the rate of deforestation if you now had paper straws. I think feeling sorry for I the poor nun, nun na, I think there's more the trees pasta. now. I think trees are on the up. <laughs> yeah, the deforestation went up 29% in the past 12 months. Yeah. It's the highest it's been in over 11 years. Yeah, but um, at what's the rate of reforestation? Yeah, but it's not sustainable. It's, they can't regrow it as fast as we're using it, though. That's the problem. Yeah, that is, Maybe, it's, I don't know. Like, uh, it's land as the size of the... It's land the size of the UK amount of trees is being taken down every year. Like you can't, trees don't, even, no matter how many you plant, they don't grow that quick. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Can oh. we, although the trees that grow, growing trees are better for the environment than not. Yeah. Oh, growing, definitely. Like, trees definitely. Yeah. Can, can we slow down? Is it possible for us to slow down? That's no, what we're trying too to late. do. There's too many people. To be honest. So there was supposed I, I to be, the, there was on. a pledge to stop deforesta- deforestation by 2030. But and and it has been declining, but in the past yeah in the past year it's gone up to rec- like record highs. The highest levels in over a decade. Is, like is it's, it's gone back the opposite to, way. Again. Is that in Brazil mainly? In mostly Amazon, yeah. but apparently in your end of the world it's not exactly <laughs> obviously not deforestation. No, they are deforest. Sense, they, but, there is deforestation as well here. The house is burning up. And that. Um, so pasta is only two ingredients, flour and water. Yeah. So pretty darn good. And also. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. I don't you know what I pasta? thought it was, but. And a bit of salt. You can add, like a pinch, you add a salt. pinch of salt. Some yeah. people there's add There's no egg in it? Some people add egg. There's egg in it if you want egg. Yeah. I was going to say, I thought there was. You don't have water. to. Cause Cause water. Because there's people that can't have egg. That's yeah, right. So they use dough and wheat. okay. Cool. But, um. You can just buy but now the water a big Chinese. pack of pasta from the shop, obviously, tubular pasta. But this one done by, uh, what, are they, what did I say it's called? Stru- stru- strudels. strudels. Um, they <laughs> say that they pick, purposely pick the stronger one. So you can buy it from them for $16 a box, um, which is kind of expensive, but I'm sure you could find cheaper ones. Do they give the strongest nunna to roll it? <laughs> make it. Learn to make it. The strongest nunna. <laughs> and I think there's actually that, no, that one's Nonna um, Maria. She's rolling the pasta for these straws. <laughs> Hello, think, Nonna Maria. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like uh, these in because they wouldn't. It wouldn't degrade like a paper straw. No, it takes an hour in ha- cold water to have start. Have you seen those Instagram posts with um, paper straws when they put no. it in thick shakes and stuff? No. So they put the no, pa- I can imagine. Yeah, so they put it in there and it like they go, I just need to go to the toilet. And they go to the toilet, come back, and they try to suck through the paper straw and it's already <laughs> it's already collapsed on itself. You know what? This Christmas. So someone gave me a tip for drinking through straws. paper straws. Yeah. Is, no, no, Maria, imagine over. this is your paper sh- imagine this is your cup and your straw. Yeah. You put it in to drink, and then when you stop drinking, you take it out and then lay it across the top. <laughs> oh, that is a good solution. It is. It's a... Wow. He worked out our problem at the movies. <laughs> what? My straw... No, a girl on the, bake the showed movies, me it. Yeah. It evaporates, and I got that last bit of coke left. <laughs> <laughs> it's been absolutely annoying me. Oh, there you go. That's actually a good solution. Don't you love those solutions where it's just like... Um, it's pretty simple. Wow. That's like the bath mat post that I posted where all my life, I didn't know you could just do this. Not bath mat. You know, <laughs> you know yeah, you know the, the non-slippy what? ones that, you know, so you don't trip, you don't slip over in the shower. Oh, in the shower, the rubber ones. You know the rubber the non, ones. Yeah, yeah, the rubber ones, yeah. People just stick them on the wall. To dry, to dry off. dry. And my whole life, I never knew you could do this until I saw an Instagram post and ever since I've been doing it. And it's like amazing. That's because it doesn't get mold on it. I like that yes. one. Yes. It's such it's a got simple the, it's solution. Got the suction cup, so it just sticks to the tiles. I don't have a mat, but I like and it. And also, it drains inside the, like, you know, you could put it over the side of the bath, but then it'll, it's going to drain. It's like going to be water on the floor. This one just goes inside. Oh, my grandma did this. There you go. <laughs> there you go. 
Is there any more examples of food food being used as other sources of is there to be honest, my initial thought, maybe I'm one of these party poos, my initial thoughts is it doesn't sound sustainable to have it's just like isn't it better to have a straw which just lasts forever? Like a metal one or a yes. bamboo one, as opposed to one yes. which it has to be grown, used. I think it's just an eaten. alternative, maybe. Maybe. Plastic. But like it's an alternative with with like so it's like we I guess with the metal straws and the bamboo straws, they you can't throw them away. So that's what you lose out on. So this is one you can throw away. So you want straws which you can throw away. Can you but then these are better. But I think the whole problem with us as humans is we love throwing. We love throwing away. Away. Yeah. Mm. I guess I like the fact that these people are thinking of new thing new ways to come up with stuff that's not sure. that's more like you can use it more than once and if it's not it's biodegradable. Yeah, I, quite, I, I I'm gonna. You know what? For Christmas, instead of buying sh- like whatever straws, I'm doing the pasta straws. But I agree with you, Maxie. We have to stop being a throwaway society. Yeah. No, no, you know what it is. Every, everything is too easy to make. Can you buy me a pineapple and everything's cup? Everything's too cheap. Pineapple cup. So if they made the plastic straws more expensive, people would have to revert to using other stuff, other products. But that's sort of my my that's that's like the whole uh, bullets debate, isn't it? But that's my question before. Oh, what uh, debate? Like. Is there is there a way to like slow down, like what we're doing? Like everyone just slow down. Like you, all big businesses, okay. tell them to slow down. Is the, there the problem? Is this right? It's cheap to make the plastic straws. So like in like third world countries where they don't really worry about the environment, I guess. Yeah. A one minute warning. It's cheaper to actually sell it to them. Yeah. Well, paper straws, these so- noodle straws, whatever. Be more expensive, so we're willing to pay the extra Trans- because we're, I guess, um, more, more well off, more we- more, off, more well off, but there'll still be plastic straws. To answer your question, yeah. Sorry, I can't. Like, <laughs> I don't mean to cut you off. Oh, hey, hey, you, you're you rude. Sound, like the volume <laughs> keeps going as if you had to stop talking. No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> you meanie. To answer your question, no, not as long as. You make money from disposable stuff because that's repeat money for a business. So why on earth would they go away yeah. from that? Mm. That's what I was saying. Ban it outright. <laughs> but it that's ha- like it, that's like what banned, that's they, all. They it's got to be banned. They banned disposable plastic in France, have they? Yeah, but yeah, they'll, they'll ban them in like first world countries. Like, it's not all third world countries. A lot of African countries don't use plastic at all. You know, you know when did do you know oh, do you cool. remember when leaded fuel was banned in the UK or in Norway? Do you remember when that was banned? Is it banned? Leaded, leaded fuel. No. Is I've only ever known unleaded. Leaded fuel got what? Leaded, leaded fuel was uh, it was banned? I think in in nineteen ninety one in Australia or something ninety two. Wasn't it because of health reasons? Yeah, yeah. lead's bad for you, right? Yeah. Leaded fuel it's only got banned in third world countries. I think last year or is going to be banned in twenty twenty. Okay, see, wow. if they can still make money of it, they don't care about the environment or people's health. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. What s- they care about is the bottom dollar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is bad on society itself. Like, these corporations should be punished. Mm-hmm. But us not being, like, yeah. their products should be, have, like, a registration. Like, this company sends leaded petrol to these third world countries, and you have a choice to support them or not. Mm. The, um, like, mm. when... You know, listen to a lot of business people and stuff like that. Um, generally, like uh, on podcasts and videos, books, all that kind of stuff. One of the biggest things they talk about when you look at consumer and customer is the price tag on their head as a repeat customer. And what's the easiest way to make someone a repeat customer? Yeah. Make your product disposable. Yeah. Well, that's the that's watch why... the water episode. Watch the water episode. Yeah. That's why the government have to ban it. Like it's. Capitalism is good for some things, but it's not good for shit like that. Yeah, like a, uh, so that's why you have to bring a balance between, you know, socialism, national uh, capitalism. Uh, there's a blend somewhere, and then I think when most people in a democracy agree that like reusable is bad, but they still use them. But they agree it's bad, but it's just convenient and it's just so nice to use. You say reusable? Say, let's ban it. Let's just no re- oh. not reusable. They're disposable. Because yeah. no, re- reusable is bad for business because you only got to buy it once.
Okay, CJ, you bought us a, an article this week, didn't you? Yes, I did. Do you remember what it was? Of course, it was Nicole <laughs> of rub- course. rubbing her boobs into some dude's face. Louis Walsh. Louis. I, Louis. I, I've never wanted to be someone called Louis so much in my life. <laughs> 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 So, Nicole Scherzinger yes. is a judge on Australia's Got Talent. Mm-hmm. Wait. Isn't that the X Factor? X Factor. She, was, she used to be on Australia's Got Talent. Now she's on X Factor no, no, in England. I think oh. she's on both. Oh, okay. I just both. wish she was on me. I don't know. Oh. So <laughs> She's been on X Factor in England for a yeah, while. Yeah, she's been on there for a while. And I guess there was a recent episode where... I guess, actually, she does overtly sexual things. Um, and there was a recent episode where she literally grabbed Louis Walsh's head, another fellow judge. I think he's, he, he didn't he discover or create uh, One Direction? Was that him? No, no that's, that's, that's that Cal. Yeah. Simon Cal. No, that was X Factor. Wait. <laughs> Um, Simon Cowell, wasn't it? He was um, West Westlife. Was Westlife, West Westlife. Yeah, maybe he's the older ones. Westlife. Um, so she grabs his head and literally motivates him. At, or no, he motivates, he motivates her. her. He doesn't. He motivates her. Sorry, no. Yeah, he didn't grab. He didn't put her head on his boobs. No, she put his head on her boobs and yeah. like shook his head around. Yeah. Um, and then she <laughs> also just says some quite, you know. Uh, how you going things such as and these are in tweets by the way um oh wait 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 so there's certain tweets this is by knee lima at toast some stuff why does nicole always have to be so sexual stuffing her boobs into louis face can you do the, can you say the name again alexander i think she's indian actually i think you have to do an indian accent <laughs> to ask <before>. some to <laughs> ask some <laughs> I, I, I knew, <laughs> I knew she said I the name wrong. I always get those wrong. There's can another you, one. Can Phil you go back? Can you go have back? Have a croft. Have a croft. <laughs> oh, Phil, he's a he's an American man, so you have to do an American man oh, voice on this one. Nobody Emma. bats an eyelid at Nicole forcibly motorboating a fellow judge. Just imagine the furor if a male judge thrust his shenangus into her face. Shenangus. <laughs> oh, it shenangus. would be what career word. ending. Depends if what she likes a word. Shenangus. What a word. <laughs> that's just that's just sold the whole uh, show. <laughs> shenangus. <laughs> so basically, I th- and then there was is like is that plural or is that shenangus? the singular? I know. <laughs> was it a big shenangus at least? <laughs> Shanghai is that plural? <laughs> and they had this group on, like a, fungus? on the show, and they were um, shirtless yeah. or like shirts open or shirtless. And she's like, "Wow, as far as I'm concerned, you guys can boom, 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 however you want, want, want." Seriously, that was one of my favorite performances, not because you're hot, wet, and naked, but because your performance was crazy. I want to get naked. I want to get naked with them. And basically, this article was saying, how is it that a woman can speak like this, but if it was in reverse and there was like three girls up there and a guy's like, I want to get naked with you, or, you know, grabs his shenangus and like grabs someone's head. And puts it in his <laughs> shnangus, like, ha- and, and people would be totally fine with it. I, I don't like. Yeah, that was what the article was about. That Over is, to you. That is a bit of a double standard, isn't it? And then, not complaining. If she were to grab my head and put and put my head there, I'll be very happy. That's here. what I'm saying. Like, happy man. Um, Louis Walsh isn't inclined that way, though, is he? What do you mean? Yeah, so maybe that's why she did it because she knew. Or is he? Is he? What? Is Lu- is yeah, of course Louis he is. Was gay? Mm. Oh, yeah. is that no. what you meant? Oh, oh. I, I thought he was. <laughs> Louis Walsh coming to fire himself because there's a video of him with Mel B in, um, it's like an X Factor after thing. No, he's got a wife. And they're on one of the couches. What? Oh, yeah, he has a wife. <laughs> and he he wraps his hand around Mel B and like, but grabs her butt and she gets visibly uncomfortable. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Uh, that's right. So he. Yeah. I wait, was that your that. reason, w- evidence to say why he's not? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying oh, okay. that was just something related to this article with him as well. I thought he was uh, gay. But no, he's... No. Ada. I, I thought he was gay. Ada... F- oh, Ada is... A- Ada Field, I think. Oh. To be honest with you, Ada Walsh? No. no. Ada Field. I think she kept her name. How did, how did he keep watching the show? Who? Louis what? Walsh when she had her boobs <laughs> in his face. He's I still watching he, the show. He was taken aback a little bit. Taken back? I, I, I'd have picked her up and taken her home. 
<laughs> a siege. A siege. <laughs> then you would have been crossing the line. <laughs> oh, these women just asking for, for, for it all the time. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, okay, they wave their boobs in my face and they don't think, and I think that's the green light, and they get upset when I pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think when when you look at things like this, one of the biggest, I guess, downfalls of of this ever being called out is the fact that when it happens to a man typically they not for mind. everyone but typically men don't care no. like they like it whereas when it happens to women it makes women feel uncomfortable which is why it's something that can escalate to this level and it not be called out by society as much but now in this awakened state of <laughs> world we're in awaken people are saying well no double standards <laughs> yeah but in this awakened um, state right he's not complaining yeah that's so what, why that's are people complaining about the fact that he had a boob rub on his face? Yeah, but the point is, no, I think why it's not. Aren't, yeah, why is it like if it was the other way around, then even yourself, you'd be like, wait, that's wrong. Okay, I think these things aren't black yeah, and white. But, no, okay, but the what, thing is, if, they know each what, other, correct? So they're quite comfortable. Yeah. So it, let's say an example. Like I knew a young lady. We're very close, and I turkey slapped her. <laughs> well, I don't know what that means. Uh, the balls. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, m- maybe that's part of our relationship. Okay, but this is on live TV and she's saying it to people on stage, like, you know, just comments. I Look, I'm not offended, but this is what the article is about. I'm saying, like, they obviously know each other the same way. Uh, yeah, go, Maxie. Go on. No, that, okay. My question would be, like, if you know, like if you you and your friends do something, like you're like I'm friends with a girl, and we do stuff like that as a joke, and it's it's cool between us. Is it then cool to sh- show that on live TV? Like, mm, yeah. If so, then, no. no, I don't. I th- cool yeah, do I think that. I think that's one of the things is that it's that's where the double standard lies is it, where you're allowed to have outrage on behalf of other people and. Like, if you look at this, this is in essence people having outrage on behalf of Louis. Yeah. Which is not normal in society for people to have outrage on behalf of a man in this kind of instance. But on a woman, if it was a, if it was the other way around, it would be normal to have outrage on behalf of the woman. Yes. But then what if he says, but this woman gave me prior consent. We do this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people would still be out that's what i'm saying like it's normal then at that point i don't think you'd have outrage because yeah, right uh, how you interact with each other is... okay another like, example i think if it's a family show and if it was the a guy that did that to the female judge next to him it would be like oh like oh okay. the family shows a different issue like a family show then for me it's both ways like it shouldn't happen but what i'm saying is like the idea that it's only one way when it's like my thinking is like if someone like if a man is offended when a woman does that to him, then I will back the man because like he he was uncomfortable. But if he wasn't uncomfortable and the woman read the situation right and the man read the situation right, like that's just how their relationship is, then should why should I be offended? No. But let me ask you this: When you say, I'm just being devil's advocate, by the way. When you yeah. say if the man's not offended, but again, isn't that the whole point? Is that most of the time men are not offended by this? Yeah, so then that's the question as to why are men not offended by this, but women are offended by this. Okay, I got an example. Yeah, so that's a deeper issue. Like if it if it's one way round, the offense just isn't there. If it's the other way around, the offense is. Is it because there. is it because the guy would be is it because like the either. men always chase the women? It's it's, it's I think you hardly well, see the women. I think there's a, there's a power construct. Like a man who's getting handled by a woman doesn't feel like they're. I don't Threatened. feel vulnerable necessarily, but if I grab a woman and I can like break her arm in half if I wanted to, sort of thing, like they're more likely to feel uncomfortable or threatened by what I'm doing, even if it's a sexual thing. But it's, you know, yeah. So I can see why, in more cases, it's going to be that way around, and I see why, as a society, women are more vulnerable and they are going to have to like have more of a guard up for this kind of stuff. Yeah. So, but what I'm saying is, on a case by case basis, is this is different. If it was like a race thing, you can't be racist to someone because you have a they can't. I mean, you can't be racist towards a black person because you are friends, because especially on live TV, because then that then goes against the whole race. But if it's like I touch this person on the bum, I'm not touching all women on the bum. And if me and that woman had an understanding that she's cool with me doing that, like that doesn't cross any boundary. Go to different cultures; they just walk around with their boobs out. That's a that's a different culture. It's fine. But yeah, like, so okay, let me 
put that exact same situation back into context though if you said the 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 point of being on when you're on tv you have a responsibility to be a role model to other people if you can say we have this dynamic this is how we behave outside of like this is just how we behave with each other no one else is privy to that information i think that's a different question like i don't think it should go either way then i don't think a man should do it to a woman i don't think a woman should do it to a man one minute warning because of how people see it perceive it on tv wait i have another question. question if she wasn't beautiful would it would there be more of an issue as well? Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know he would, would have normally complained. say yes. Get her off me. In, <laughs> in England, <laughs> no. Not her. Yeah. What yes, was that, Alexander. What was the com- what was that lady's name? The winner. Oh, I uh, forgot. Doyle. Oh, Boyle. 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 Oh, yeah. Susan Boyle. Yeah. Like if it was Susan Boyle doing it. Not, she grabs it's not a label. That's on my bucket my list. Head, I'll be like a that is on my up. bucket list to get motivated by Susan Boyle. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think in England, for like we're weird with things like that. I think it would be still okay. Okay. my Because exa- first of all, it, the gumption of a woman to do that, like you've got to imagine what her personality is. It should be like, loud anyway. and like, It wouldn't be a timid yeah, woman. Yeah. yeah. And then that type of woman... You can't get away. What if Amy that. Schumer? Do you know Amy Schumer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The comedian. Yeah. What if she did it? I think it's funny. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think if I... Amy Schumer did it because of context, she's a comedian. Yeah. She'd done it. It would have been taken as a joke. It maybe? would have been. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's why this, this is... got taken this way because Nicole was a burlesque dancer or whatever. Ah, oh, right. That so you just, know, she's yeah. overly oh. sexual. Yeah. So people are like, I don't think. To be honest, I don't think most people know that no, she was a burlesque that. dancer. Well, so I don't even know if do it was this, burlesque. You have, to <laughs> you have to read all the prerequisites before <laughs> and then go for it. It might take away the moment. I'm just I, like, so like, I, I don't think even, it's two I issues. One think... is, is it on TV? And should you be doing this kind of thing in front of an audience? Like, if it And if it could be perceived in a certain way, that's one thing to consider. In that case, I think it goes both ways. Like, But then the one where it's like a personal thing, like I understand why women more often than not would feel uncomfortable than a man in the same situation. That's isn't this whole thing defense. like isn't isn't this whole article about the context of it being on TV? Because yeah. people don't scream outrage at things that just happen in the street <laughs> like that. Like I think because it was on this TV. This is yeah. because it was on yeah. TV. I'm yeah, so well, the question is: is it, Was that too sexual for TV? Was it? I don't know. Well. I think. Well, that's the thing. If it was a guy that did that to a girl, then yes, heavily sexual. Okay, but. The girls that go to strip shows who get that kind of sexual. Not on TV. Not on TV, though. That's so what, what we're saying. on TV? No, but that's what. <laughs> there's ratings on TV. Who cares about ratings? And there's like kids. The channel. Yeah, but it was a family show. Oh, well, not anymore. <laughs> 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 not anymore, <laughs> The business to the next level. Swinging. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To be fair, they just so, have good men on stage, right? What's Doing some it? sexy dancing. Yeah, that's right. I don't yeah, know. man. Like those poor guys had their shirts off. They're being sexualized. Oh yeah, that's true. They're not being sexualized. They wanted to go on there. That was their like. I think that's their job. What being shirtless? B- stripping. I think they could be stripping <laughs> on the side. <laughs> how do you so know? Many, like, how do you know they're not like well. librarians? Yeah. Like, like, are you taking out of context, mate? You know, there might be like bi- librarians and their shirts just ripped open in the muscles. <laughs> they're reading a book, <laughs> reading a book, and they flex to it. Oh, that was their talent, <laughs> reading books. This week on Max Facts. Max Facts. I'm trying to keep my facts more serious. Oh. So, um, if if you lick someone's elbow while they're not looking. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be able to feel it. What was that? <laughs> what? Yeah. I can see that. There's no I actually there, totally there. get you. In the weenus. Oh, hold on, hold on here. Did he just say if he licks someone's elbow <laughs> while they're crying, they won't be able to feel it? <laughs> while they're crying. <laughs> Is that what I heard? <laughs> no, while they're crying. Okay. Thank God. What did he say? I didn't hear it clearly. Just lick his elbow. If you when lick they're not someone's looking. elbow. Oh. 
I thought he said when they're crying. If you lick someone's CJ. elbow while they're not looking, can, they won't feel it. I can put I it in different words for you if you want. If you lick what someone's weenus... person lick someone's elbow when they're crying? they're not looking. Like, if someone's crying, you're like, okay, give me your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> you did? You're not really crying. <laughs> like, yeah, you're you're it. <laughs> I'm onto you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew I'd cry at some point today. Hey, Ellis, lick, lick the elbow. Lick the elbow. Lick the elbow. <laughs> lick the elbow. Lick the elbow. <laughs> it's elbow licking time. I got his fat from Reddit. I got his fat from Reddit and there's a comment underneath it which says, I was standing at the crosswalk outside my school one day when I was done with classes during my junior year of high school. I felt a wet sensation on my elbow. <laughs> I snapped my head to the side and saw a girl from my class. I knew her well. We had small class sizes. And she was trying to lick my elbow. Apparently, she had just heard a fact <laughs> and decided to find out for herself. <laughs> now, is that sexual harassment? Double standards. <laughs> I'm a saying. So, like, like, if, like if you're going like, to test if that. If she's allowed to lick his elbow, then we're allowed to lick hers. <laughs> you know, that's the weird thing. I actually understand what you're saying from this. Not that I've had that happen, but I get it. I, 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 Ernest. Did you, did you lick her elbow when she's not looking? No. Do you I say, to test hands? this, do you have to have a prearranged agreement that this might happen at some point between <laughs> you? Or do you do it to someone completely random? Like, I, I, I remember the vows. Like, uh, like he goes, vows. Like, uh, he goes, I'll randomly lick your elbow. <laughs> when you're not looking. When you're not looking. Do you take these I vows? I I could try and do it to Melody. I'm trying to think, what position is somebody in when you can get to their elbow <laughs> and, not, and be behind them? Like... In bed, was they no. on their phone, like lying down on their phone like that, with their elbows out, with no covers on? Oh, you live in Australia; that might happen more. Yeah, but, but say, again, you're... again, why is he licking the, even... the elbow? Like, what kind of like movies are trying to do? What do you mean? Is is that like his sexual startup engine? Like, I'm gonna give that elbow a licking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the elbow, that elbow looks finger licking good. All right, before it gets worse, <laughs> I'm gonna lick that elbow. Oh. <laughs> so i've got one for you this this is actually a, a news article that was I've, i saw all over the place but this is just from a tweet that the sun put out um and it's a video that this dad filmed of his daughter where he recorded her it's like a headshot just you know just below the shoulders and her face Every week for 20 years. Oh, I saw this. And it's just like this this transformation video. It's like two and a half minutes long. It's a minor, a few, a, not even a second of each week. And it's just unbelievable to watch this girl go through this transformation from baby to 20-year-old. Um, I thought it was really, really cool. And... One of the most interesting like takes I've seen on it or most interesting comments I saw in it was how when she's like that teenager age, you can see she's a lot sadder more often um, than when she was a child and when she gets... Oh, oh, people like, Dad, oh, I just well. don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought it was cool. I just wanted to bring it to the table. Dad, we're just I watching mean, it right now. I'm overseas. Do I have to come back for this bloody photo? <laughs> yeah, like she was. She lived with him until she was twenty. Well, I guess, and they missed a few weeks when she travelled or something, or he travelled. Yeah, maybe. And then you can tell she's maturing. Her her jawline changes. Oh my god. Her hairstyle hasn't changed that much. She's starting to wear makeup, is she? Yeah. What I think's cool is in the video as well, it looks like they're just having a conversation as well. Yeah. Like mm. while he's taking it. It's not just like stand there and stand still. Like it's like It wouldn't have been cool if she wore he, if she wore the same beanie from when she was a baby. <laughs> she wouldn't be able to wear the same beanie. Yeah, that's the point. Just to see like Oh my god, she's so different now. Yeah, she's so different now. I, I imagine it's a really good bonding thing as well for them. No, yeah. she's finding him very annoying. 
So she went through a period where she like she couldn't be bothered to talk to the camera most of the time. Yeah, and, and she's, she's maybe like, at the age where she wants to like look nice and do that like you know mm, smile. This is really cool. Yeah. This is really cool. We're gonna have to have a baby. I feel like I know her. Oh, yeah, I know. Who's having a baby? Us. Changes her hair a lot. You and her. Oh. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> what the hell? Because <laughs> Max, he how said, did your mind go I feel there? like. I know her. And he's like, yeah, we're going to have to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> the I, dots your brain connect, Emma. I'll never it, know. Was it me and Maxi? Maxi, was it you that what? said that? Or was it Alexander? You said that Emma's brain and then she has a parallel thought that goes right beside it. Was it <laughs> who, who said yeah. that? Yeah, we spoke about it last we week. Yeah, we talked that. And then all of a sudden you just swap lanes and you go, ah, you and her are going to have a baby. <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's, uh, wait, would you have the... Um, Foresight? Not Well, yes. And also the now. motivation the and uh, discipline to actually do that week in, week out. Well, I think I you like Dev mentioned foresight. I think that's probably the most impressive thing. Because if you think, take this back 20 years, this is 1999 this was started. Like yeah. that's before YouTube, like six years before YouTube existed. Like there was no, I'm going to be famous if I this do this or, for or any of that. Just tape or something. Yeah, like uh, he probably wanted to play it like in a DVD or something. Yeah, uh, we do, I do something similar. We do some. Oh, here you go. We've got a T-shirt printed for, um, like it says grad. Uh, what does it say? Like uh, class of, and we've got the year date of when. Our eldest is going to graduate. And From. every year he takes a picture. So I, what I did is um, one of the mums made the T-shirt in a big size. I think it just got a medium or a large, whatever. And it drowns him. Like it's nearly to his ankles in the first when he started kindy. And every year on the last day of school, takes a picture in that shirt. And then on the year that he graduates, it should fit him properly. Yeah. Hopefully he grows up. I hope he makes it. makes it. Seven, then it'd be like a boob tube. <laughs> yeah, all that. <laughs> but it's such a cute idea. I think it's a good idea. I, I've, I've never hoped for Aiden to become six for seven until now. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Mom, that's the worst shirt. Is it, what size did you get? Is is it? I think it, I size? think I just got a medium or a large. I can't remember. Maybe that, a large. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Or a medium. I can't remember. But it's pretty cool. He's three years in now. That's why um we do we we no, we do something similar. In. We do something similar to this every week. Podcast. Yeah. No, we don't. Huh? Norway's been killing it. Who? Nor. Who's Nor? Way. Who's Way? His Way. Norway. <laughs> <laughs> what? For damage. Norway. You're not. Um, so do you do you, do you have something that you like? I don't think he. Do you think he had the foresight, or do you think he was just doing it just to be like memories. just to remember for memories, or okay, do you think I, he had the foresight I and think, creativity? I to think do it was memories. Yeah, I think it was memories. So it wasn't. Actually, I say yeah, this. I I've memory. not read. The, I, I I bet if you go on the article, it probably tells you. <laughs> I reckon it was foresight. Maybe it started off something slow. It's a bit like when you um. Do you ever have it? There was a wall at my dad's house that every Christmas we measured our height. Yes. And you put your name by it. Yes. And then the year, and, and it would go up. It was like as if someone said that and there's just someone that was like, I got the video camera, let's do it to a different yeah. screen. Maybe. Yeah. I can see how like you can do it. You know what I mean? Like it's not yeah. Oh my god, this guy's Einstein. It's <laughs> just I think the patience is more impressive to the me patience. than the foresight. Oh. That's maybe on, on both parts. Parts. it's hard for me the context the hard to understand like in nineteen ninety nine. Because right now, I think everyone kind of imagines that because they've maybe seen videos like that before, or yeah. I've seen people that took a picture of themselves every single day for it, like uh, whilst they went traveling or something, yeah. and you see their hair just grows out, and they're traveling, they've got different backgrounds and stuff. And I suppose Alex about doing a video with a body transformation, doing something similar. Yeah, I'm I've, guessing like it's hard to know the context because obviously that's easy for me to say because we've got video cameras in my pocket, in my iPhone, and uh, I've seen other people do it already. So I, I've, I've seen know. one where a father and son took a picture every year together. Yeah, and you see them like develop like, the son growing up. Yeah, the father getting old. And then the son becoming a man, and the father becoming like an old man. Hmm? But now, now take that. take that commitment of that and multiply it by fifty-two as well. <laughs> like, yeah, 
Because uh, every week me, is a Me, my lot. brothers, and my dad. Yeah, we have a picture every my dad's birthday and Father's Day. So we have two a year of us four together. And Aww. then we've since have additions of Mikey's kids suddenly appear in the pictures. Yeah. And then, so if we keep doing that, hopefully we'll get like a good one where... No, but the difference is we we're not hate. always in the same position. So it's like we always mix up, you know. So it's not like a... Now, if this nice was the exact same this. picture, but obviously just a year apart. Yeah. So the, like okay, the, father, cool. the father and the son are both topless. Yeah. So, and, and, the, and the father was holding the son like this. Obviously, he couldn't keep holding him like this. But as they got older, they're in the same position. And you just see them... Getting one, bigger. One's, bigger getting, yeah. one's getting bigger. One's going down. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's interesting. I love it. Do that. Do that. Do that. What? Shirt off? No, no, no. Shirt on. Shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> I, wa- <laughs> I wonder if... I don't know. I wonder if you... Do you, do you have um, visions? Like, do you have visions that of something great? And... Do you ever think? Do you ever have visions like that? Of what you what? guys like uh, of where you're, where you have like where you think you're going to be creating something that's so small, and then you know where it's going to be, or do you think people just do stuff, little stuff, and they just end up wherever they end up? Do you reckon that people like that that see that know in like ten years time that something great's going to happen, or do they just work on small stuff, and then they just. They just work on it. I don't know. Does There's that make a good sense? quote that goes, uh, "A person doesn't decide his future; he decides his habits, and his habits decide his future." All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell.